Today, New Zealand has the slowest population growth since the late 1980s. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics, web that is post covering finance and property news with a distinctively Australian and New Zealand perspective. Of New Zealand's 16 regions, 12 experienced lower population growth in the June 2022 year than in 2021, according to data released today from Stats New Zealand. While two thirds of regions experienced population growth in the past year, for most regions this growth was lower than in 2021. Population decline also occurred in five regions, Auckland, Wellington, Nelson, West Coast and Southland. Nationally, annual population growth has slowed over the past two years, dropping from 2.2% in the June 2020 year to 0.4% in the June 2021 year and to 0.2% in the June 2022 year. That's the lowest since the late 1980s. Slowing regional growth reflects what is happening nationally, particularly annual net migration loss, partially due to the impact of COVID-19 on international migration, they said. This net migration loss was combined with the lowest natural increase since World War II. Population change is a result of natural increase, that's births minus deaths, and net migration, migrant arrivals minus migrant departures. For subnational areas, migration comprises both external, international migration, and internal migration, people moving between areas within New Zealand. Internal migration was the main driver of population change in 12 of the 16 regions, while natural increase was the main driver in the other four. No regions had international migration as the main driver of population change in the year 2022. Two regions, West Coast and Marlborough, experienced natural decreases, more deaths than births, in the June 2022 year. Those regions had more older people, with 23% of their population aged 65 years and over. New Zealand overall had 16% of its population aged 65 years and over at the 30th of June 2022. Auckland's population continued to decline in the June 2022 year, after falling for the first time in June 2021. In the June 2022 year, Auckland's population declined by 0.5%. That's slightly less than the decline in 2021 when it was 0.6%. While people leaving the bigger cities such as Auckland is not new, internal migration losses have historically been offset by international migration gains, Stats New Zealand said. With internal migration losses now occurring, Auckland has an overall population loss of 8,900 people in the June 2022 year. Auckland had a provisional net loss of 15,000 people through internal migration. That's people moving between Auckland and other parts of New Zealand. This comes after net losses of 11,300 and 15,400 people in the previous two years. It continues a trend of net flows out of Auckland that began in the late 1990s. Within Auckland, the highest population growth rates continue to occur in local board areas at the edges of the region, such as Papakura up 3.9% and Rodney up 2.7%. In contrast, central local board areas experience declining populations, for example, at Albert Eden, down 3.1%. This map shows the Territorial Authority and Auckland local board areas, each assigned a colour to show the range of change in the estimated resident population in the year ended the 30th of June 2022. The population in districts adjacent to Auckland also experienced significant population growth. And Stats New Zealand says that all estimates for 2021 and 2022 are provisional and are subject to revision. The map shows the Auckland local board areas, each assigned a colour to show the range of change in estimated residential population in the year ended the 30th of June 2022. The colours are grouped into annual percentage changes in 21-22 of less than zero, greater than zero to one percent, greater than one to two percent, greater than two to three percent and greater than three percent. The annual 
change range from 3.9% to a 5.9% decline. Now, it's worth just reflecting on these population moves and declines because, of course, that's another negative when it comes to future property price growth. Demand could be easing further, putting further downward pressure over and above, of course, those very high interest rates that we're now seeing flowing through. So the economic balance in New Zealand is under question. Now, of course, the government has opened the migration taps as far as they can to try and encourage people to come into New Zealand. But of course, other countries, including Australia and the UK and Canada, are also now trying to attract migrants as well. So it'll be interesting to see who are the winners and losers here. But at the moment, it looks as though New Zealand's population is on the decline. That signals more property price falls ahead, probably. Now, if you're buying your home in Sydney's contentious market, you don't need to stand alone. This is the time you need to have Edwin Almeida from Ribbon Property Consultants standing alongside you. Buying a property is both challenging and adversarial. The vendor has a professional on their side. Emotions run high. Price discovery and price transparency are hard to find. And then there's the wasted time and financial investments that you make. Edwin understands your needs, so why not engage a licensed professional to stand alongside you? With RPC, you know you have experience, knowledge and master negotiators looking after your best interests. So shoot Ribbon an email at info at ribbonproperty.com.au and if you use the promo code DFAWTW slash Martin, you can get a 10% discount offer. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.